Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today I'm doing a follow-up video on the keyboard shortcuts to do multitasking on the iPad. I tested this before with the Magic Keyboard and the K380 and now let's try it on the K480. And what I mentioned in my K380 video, to make this work on the Logitech keyboard, so on the K480, we do have the globe icon here on the F12 key along with the insert key, but that won't work. So how we can make it work is this configuration by changing the modifier key. And again, big thanks to one of my viewers for leaving this comment and giving me the answer and saving me time to do the research. So what we need to do is go into the general settings and then go to keyboard and then hardware keyboard and then go to modifier keys. And from here, since we need all the other keys like control, option, and command key for the shortcuts to work, then that only leaves us to use the caps lock key. So what we can do here is change the action of the caps lock to perform as the globe key. And this will make the multitasking keyboard shortcuts work with the K480. So let's do a test. Let's try first to do a split screen. So first we need to open the main app that I want to be on my main screen. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe. Appreciate your support. Now to do a split screen, the shortcut is the control and the, for us it's caps lock and then either left and right. So now it looks like it is working. So now I can choose another app to open on the side, other side of the split screen. Yep, and looks like it is working. Now, if I want to make the YouTube app to go back to full screen, my tip is make sure you are on the YouTube app because now it is on the notes app. So do command tab to go to the other app or the YouTube app here in my case. And then I do the caps lock and F. Whoops, that didn't seem to work. So let's try that again. There seems to be a bug or maybe it's the beta version that's causing this, but uh, somehow it's not completely working when I do globe or caps lock and F. Okay, next one, let's try to show the doc by doing caps lock or globe and A. Then I can try to drag an app to put it on slide over screen. Then if I want to hide it, the keyboard shortcut is for us, it's caps lock again, and then the backslash. If I want to show it again, it's the same shortcut, caps lock and backslash. And if I want to move it on the other side, it will be caps lock option and then the left key and move it to the right. That will be the same caps lock option and the right key. So if I want to make this app to be a slide over screen, do the shortcut caps lock option and then right or left key. Then I can choose any app that will be the main screen. And if I want to switch around the different windows that are opened in slide over screen, the shortcut is caps lock command and then the backslash key. Then to show the app switcher, that will be caps lock and the arrow up key. I can choose the apps that are on the dock or if I hit on tab, that will let me choose any of the open, open screens or even the slide over screen. Now on the home screen or wherever you are really, you can do caps lock and C to show the control center. And I mentioned this in my two videos that it, the, the arrow keys or even the tabs are not working to choose around the options. So let's see when the, the actual update is released. To exit out of this, again, caps lock and C. 
and for the notification center it's caps lock and end then again there's no way to move around the notification center then to show the app library that will be caps lock shift and a that will show the app library and again use the arrow keys to scroll and choose the app that you want to open and just simply press enter to open it up and the last keyboard shortcut and which is also a new option in ipad os 15 is quick note and the shortcut to show that is globe or for ours it's caps lock and q that will display the quick note And for quick note, it works even when you are on the home screen. So again, simply press on caps lock and Q and that will display the quick note. So hope this video helps and I hope you get to memorize all these keyboard shortcuts, which are really, really cool to know. And I am really happy that Apple has come up with these keyboard shortcuts for multitasking. It's really a fun way to use the iPad. And if you've been here on my channel, you know I love keyboard shortcuts. So stay tuned for more videos and that's it. Thanks for watching.